Today we present the ranking of the most brutal knockouts by Mike Tyson. Opening our ranking is Tyson's fight against Reggie Gross. It was 1986, a period when Mike had not yet become a megastar, didn't hold titles, but was confidently moving towards his first championship bout. At that time, Mike continued to build the image of a menacing man who destroys everything in his path. Reggie Gross was destined to become one of his victims. The climax of the fight came in the opening round. Reggie tried to stop Tyson with a series of punches. He threw about a dozen hits from different angles, but Mike skillfully defended himself, then threw a single left hook that sent Gross into a heavy knockout. Getting back on his feet, Reggie risked continuing, but this time he was definitively finished. In the same year of 1986, Mike fought Lorenzo Boyd. Fastest knockout, 37 seconds of the first round. Robert Coley last October 25th. Another ranking fight in which Mike confirmed his status as a brutal puncher. In watching tape of Mike. Back. Oh. Lorenzo Boyd managed to survive the first round, only to find himself knocked out in the next round. Tyson landed his favorite combination, a right to the body followed by a headshot. a hard left hand, he didn't get full extension on it, then right hand to the body, just like that, upstairs oh, with a right uppercut, oh. good night. After this deadly duo, Lorenzo couldn't find the strength to get up by the count of 10. Let's go back to 1985, a period when Mike was still a prospect. The fight with Robert Calais was only his 10th appearance in the professional ring. However, it took Tyson about 37 seconds to brutally knock out another opponent. Left hook, good night. A leaping left hook sent Robert to the canvas, after which he struggled to get up, but the fight was over for him. And really The young Tyson's fast and fierce victory takes the eighth spot in the ranking of brutal knockouts. Tyson! In August 1986, Tyson stepped into the ring against Jose Ribalta. At that time, Iron Mike was rapidly approaching his first title shot and had already earned the reputation of the most dangerous heavyweight. Although Ribalta lasted longer than many of Tyson's opponents, it didn't save him from a brutal beating. Jose went down in the second, eighth, there is no spring. Then tenth rounds. Oh, what a shot! There's the punch. Terrific uppercut. Seeing the punch, and those are the punches that do the most damage. There it is. Never saw it coming. Most fighters. Knockouts against good fighters. Let's take another look, Ray, at the end of it all. Big left hand there. That put the really did. After the third knockdown, Mike unleashed a beautiful barrage against him near the ropes. Ribalta was saved from a solid knockout by the referee. Tyson with that aggressive style and working the left hook. He was able to hurt. Ribalta a number of times, but Ribalta maintained his... Again in 1986, Mike Tyson faced Alfonso Ratliff, a former cruiserweight title contender. In the second round, Tyson threw a left hook through Ratliff's guard, sending him to the canvas. Alfonso tried to survive, but he was relentlessly pounded with a series of hooks and uppercuts. In that fight, Tyson earned the status of the official contender for the WBC title. The 
November 1986. Tyson had his first title bout against Trevor Burbick, the man who defeated Muhammad Ali and held the WBC title in the heavyweight division. One of the great champions. Let's see how long his reign will right hand lead right away. You get the idea now that Burbick, if he doesn't pump that jab in the face. From the outset, Trevor engaged in an uncompromising battle at mid-range in close quarters, which played into Tyson's hands. After the first three minutes, Burbick was breathing heavily as if he had gone through the main part of the fight. At the start of the second round, Tyson unleashed a prolonged combination, beginning with a powerful right straight to Burbick's head. The champion wobbled and immediately found himself on the canvas. And he's in trouble here. He reels backwards. Getting up, he tried to maintain confidence, but continued to take shot after shot. Tyson has him under control. Left hook, right, watch for the uppercut. There it is, this fight right now. We're only in round two. And the, the ensuing struggle took place at close quarters, and in one of the exchanges, Tyson grazed Trevor with a left hook. This glancing blow was so powerful that it shut down Burbick's vestibular apparatus. The champion's body didn't respond. He kept falling and didn't understand what was happening to him. Thus, at the age of 20 years and four months, Mike Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Let's move to 1990, the period when Tyson suffered his first defeat at the hands of Buster Douglas. Four months after the loss, he entered the ring against Henry Tillman to rectify the only setback. Additionally, Tyson had some old scores to settle with Tillman. Henry had twice disappointed him. In July 1986, Tyson faced Marvis Frazier, the son of the legendary Joe Frazier. The fight was positioned as the first serious test for Tyson, but he passed it with flying colors. Marvis lasted only 30 seconds. The son of the legend failed to offer worthy resistance. And the three knockdown rule is in effect. Tyson quickly trapped him against the ropes and sent him to the realm of Morpheus with a series of blows. Marvis fell asleep in the corner, and it took a long time to bring him to his senses. This fast and even frightening victory takes third place in our ranking of Mike Tyson's brutal knockouts. Ferguson, the first time you saw him. In June 1988, Tyson defended his undisputed heavyweight championship titles. He held all three titles according to the WBC, WBA, and IBF. His opponent was the former undisputed champion in the light heavyweight division and former heavyweight champion, Michael Spinks. Unfortunately, despite the status of the fight and the prominent names of both fighters, there was no competition. Tyson dominated Spinks in one and a half minutes. First, he sent Spinks to the canvas with a body shot, then knocked him out with a short right to the liver. Going to the body, a great uppercut that sent Mike, Mike. It was Spink's first and last defeat. Choosing the top spot in the ranking of Mike Tyson's most brutal knockouts doesn't require much thought. In my opinion, the most severe knockout by Iron Mike came towards the end of his career. It was the fight against Clifford Etienne in 2003, which became Tyson's last victory. The bout lasted only 49 seconds, which was quite expected. With the opening bell, the opponents rushed into the attack and events unfolded rapidly. And then Tyson delivered a right hand over Etienne's guard. Etienne fell, standing on one leg, and in a way that it almost broke under the weight of his body. 
collapsing to the canvas, the boxer pulled his hood over his head and closed his eyes. A single knockout is the most convincing way to win in the ring, and Tyson was better at demonstrating it than many. What I'd like to highlight is Mike's gentlemanly attitude towards all his opponents. Despite being regarded as the most dangerous man on the planet or a knockout machine, Tyson said, A fight is one thing, but when the fight is over, I have to show respect.